my sister in white. What's your name? Olga. Have you brought your Bible? Okay, doesn't matter. Can you please come here? Now, do I know you? Yes. Yes. Remember, we took a hearing aids, and then it's with Donald at the escalator. Oh, she is the same beautiful lady. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Now today, I'm going to show you something else. Okay. That day your ears got healed. Yes. Yes. Now every you can hear everything. Yeah, pretty well. Yeah. Now it's more dangerous. <laughs> because you are hearing things not to be heard. Yeah, but I haven't got anybody around. Oh, you got them. all the good faith-filled people. Praise God. Can somebody give her a Bible? Ah, uh, Brother Francis. Okay. Okay. Now. I, now you are in the court of law. Right. Okay. So I'm I'm the lawyer. I'm asking you something. You have every right to keep your mouth shut because whatever you speak will be taken into account against you. Okay? So, do you have a book in your hand? Yes. Is it a Bible? A Bible, yes. Is it a book? Yes. yes. It's a book. Okay, can you open the book? So, are there pages in this book? Yes. Can you read them? Yes. Yes. Can you touch them? Yes. Can you feel them? Yes. Can you feel them? Yeah, she said she can feel the book. Yeah. Now, Austin, can you please help her? Give her Gospel of John, chapter 114. And now let's see what happens. Austin, you've got to do it fast, please. <laughs> yeah. Please read it. Verse 14. And the word was my flesh. Was, was, was. You just read it. Please read it with understanding. And, and the word was my flesh. Was. Again. And the word was my flesh. Again. And the word was my flesh. Will be made or was made? Was made. So what do you have in your hand? And the word was made my flesh. So now you have a book or a flesh? <laughs> yeah, both. With your sense knowledge, the book. The book yes. With your word knowledge, the very body of Jesus. Which one do you choose? Okay. So let's have a demonstration. Okay? okay? You close your eyes and now talk to Jesus and say this words. Lord Jesus, say this. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. No, 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 no. I'm asking you to close your eyes yes. so that your senses are shut down. Right. Now, all that you can feel the sense is your hand touching the book. Okay? Now say this. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. All my life. All my life. I said, I felt the Bible is a book. The Bible is a book. But, but according to John one fourteen, according to John one fourteen, the Bible says, the Bible says, the Word was made flesh. The Word was made flesh. Now there's a battle in my heart. There's a battle in my heart. And in my mind. And in my mind. My mind says. My mind says. It's a book. It is a book. It's a book. My heart says. My heart says it's the word of God. And that is flesh. And that is flesh. So Lord Jesus. So Lord Jesus. I choose to believe. I choose to believe. And agree. And agree. Not my senses. Not my senses. But your word. That's your word. If the woman. If the woman. Praise the woman. If the woman, if the woman in the Bible, in the Bible, who had a bleeding problem, had a bleeding problem, touched your garment, touched your garment, and the power went through her, and the power went through her, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, 
I am not touching your garment. I'm not touching your garment. But I'm touching you. But I'm touching you. Jesus. Jesus. I'm touching you. I'm touching you. And your power. And your power. Is flowing into my body. Is 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 flowing. Flowing in my body. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I'm touching your body. I'm touching your body. And your power is flowing into my body. And your power is flowing in my body. Keep saying that. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I'm, and your power. I'm touching your body. I'm touching your body. And your power is flowing into my body. And your power is flowing in my body. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I'm touching you, and your power is flowing in my body. Keep saying that. Lord Jesus, I'm touching you, and your power is flowing in my body. Keep saying that. Lord Jesus, I'm touching you, and your power is flowing in my body. Lord Jesus, I'm touching you, and your power is flowing in my body. Lord Jesus, I'm touching you, and your power is flowing in my body. Lord Jesus, I'm touching you, and your power is flowing in my body. Lord Jesus, I'm touching you, and your power is flowing in my body. Keep saying, Lord, stop now. Keep saying, Lord Jesus. As you're saying, it's happening. I'm touching you, and your power is flowing in my body. Beautiful. Lord Jesus, I'm touching you, and your power is flowing in my body. Lord Jesus, I'm touching you, and your power is flowing in my body. That woman touched his garment, and she got healed of bleeding problem. And you got healed of all the joint problem. Check it out. Is the pain there now? Yeah. The pain is still there. Little bit. Little bit. Okay. Close your eyes and say that. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Yeah. I'm touching your garment. Uh, your body. Not the garment. This is not a garment. The word was made flesh. The Bible doesn't say the word was made garment. Says. That woman touched the garment. That's right. But you're not touching his garment, you're touching his flesh. Yes. Yes. So close your eyes, use your imagination. The woman touched the garment and the powerful began to flow. You are touching his flesh and the power is flowing into your body. Lord Jesus, I'm touching your garment. Your, your flesh. Lord Jesus, I'm touching your flesh and your power is flowing in my body. <coughs> Lord Jesus, I'm touching your flesh, and your power is flowing in my body. One last time. Lord Jesus, I'm touching your flesh, and your power is flowing in my body. Now move your legs. How do I know that you are joint pain? <laughs> Because when you were saying that, he said to me, your joint pain is gone completely. Now, you are touching, you, you read the Bible every day. But sometimes? Sometimes, she's a corrupted Bible. Okay. So when you were reading the Bible, did you touch the Bible as a book? Yes. Yes. But this time, did you touch him as a book? It's the flesh. So when you change from sense knowledge to word knowledge, how, 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 how long will you have this problem? How much? Ten years? Five years? Two years? One year? And how much time did it take to heal? <laughs> So, so how did you tap into that power? So, where was the battle? I can still feel it, a book. But because your word says, I choose to believe Jesus, that this is not a book. This is Jesus. That's why the disciples were touching Jesus. The crowd was touching Jesus. But the power did not go to anybody. But the woman who believed and she touched Jesus, at once the power began to flow. So, the electric power flows through the metal, but it doesn't flow 
through a bad conductor. So is it possible for a person who is praying but believing in the sense knowledge? Yes. So when the person is believing in the sense knowledge, is that person a good conductor or a bad conductor? Bad conductor. So who decides to be a good conductor or bad conductor? God, the devil, others or myself? myself. Is it good? Yes. Is it easy? Yes. And when you practice it and make it your lifestyle, every day becomes supernatural. So when a person is operating on what knowledge is always looking for opportunities and that opportunity is what is going to change you from a prisoner like Joseph was a prisoner and he got just one opportunity to stand before the king but when he believed in his relationship with God God gave him the interpretation of the dream was the interpretation of the dream good or bad it was extremely bad but what did Joseph do with the wisdom of God, he gave the king a solution to that bad incident which was going to happen. And he said, if you can store grains for the next seven years, then when there's famine, you can sell that grain in a super bumper price. And when the king heard it, he said, this man can turn my bad news into a good news so he took him and made him a governor. In the same way, when a person is all the time on word knowledge, he begins to experience uh, the opportunity. And in the midst of opportunity, when he applies the word knowledge, eight years of sickness is gone in no time. Now, did she get the power to heal her or was the power already there? Already there. All that she had to do is open the tap. And how does the tap begin to open? When she changed the thinking that the Bible is a book to the Bible is the word of God that was made flesh. So my prayer now is going to be what? Sense knowledge or word knowledge? Word knowledge. So once you understand this, every day is, is it going to be a treasure hunt? Somebody said, how long will it take? My question is, how long did you take to learn swimming? Some people, uh, how long did it take to learn cycling? Some people, when they fell the first time, they never took that cycle again. They were not willing to master it just because they fell. How many of you know cycling? Did you fall? Yes. Did you quit? No. But what about those who quit? They never learned. So when you are going to learn this, is there going to be a fall? Is there going to be failures? Does that mean it's a failure for your lifetime? No. You got to practice and master it. And once you master it in small things, God will train you for big things. Thank you. Such a hard grip. Uh, if you handshake somebody, you shake it with a meaning. I never expected her to have such strength. Hallelujah. So from now on, what's your pattern? Believe. Believe. How do you know whether you're going to win or lose? The level of your belief. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.